Hello everybody, this is the Bearded OG, and I'm going to bring you a very quick, short, shoot from the hip, non-scripted tutorial uh, showing you how you can have both the Rebirth Purge scenario and normal Rebirth playthroughs going at the same time on the same system. So you know, normally you can't really do this because all the Rebirth settings are global to your installation. Um, and so what you need to do if you want to be able to play both the purge and then switch over and play normal rebirth and go back and forth, which is what I'm doing on my channel. Um, you have to have separate config files to make that work. And it's really pretty easy to do. All right. So first step is log into the game and let's say you want to start with re normal rebirth first. Okay. So start log into the game, um, start rebirth and, and just set it up the way you want it, but don't choose the purge scenario. When you're finished with that, play the game if you want to, and then close out of the game. And then what you need to do is press the Windows key and the R key to bring up the run box. And in the run box, type percent app data percent and then click OK. And what that'll do is that'll bring up the roaming folder inside of app data. And then you want to find the folder that says seven days to die and open that. And then you want to find the folder that says rebirth data and open that. Inside of this folder, you will see a custom game options XML file. If you open that thing up, this has all the settings uh, that rebirth uses. These settings are global to your system. And so in order for you to be able to do a purge and a normal playthrough on the same system, you need separate copies of this file. So simply take this file and make a backup copy of it. What I do is that on my desktop, I have one folder called rebirth purge and I have another folder called rebirth two. And I also have a shortcut that I created to this location. So I can get to it directly without having to do all that percent app data percent business. And then, uh, you just make a backup copy of that file. Okay. Next thing you're going to do then is you're going to log back into the game. And this time you're going to select the purge scenario and you're going to set it up according to whatever settings you want to use. And then you're going to start the game and play it. When you're done playing the game, you close out of the game, you come back to this location and you make a backup copy of that file and you save it inside of your rebirth purge folder. And after that, it's very simple. If you want to play a normal rebirth, you copy the custom game options for a normal rebirth into this folder, overwrite the one that's there. If you want to play the purge, then you copy the custom game options file for the purge into this folder, overwrite the one that's there. And that's it. It's very easy to do and it works like a charm. Hope you guys found that useful. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.